when you're dealing with property, you need a silver tongue. You look great in a hat, by the way. Thanks. A sparkling wit. So why have they picked you to find it for them? Because I'm more glamorous than you. <laughs> I don't think so. And a lot of bottle. He's nicking it. <laughs> oh, you're so naughty. Oh dear, I think it's going to be one of those searches. This week we're in London hunting for homes for two couples. If only it were as simple as that. This is the roughest, toughest, hardest to crack property market in the world. We're focused on West London, one of the priciest parts of a Premier League city at the top of its game. The 8 million Londoners that make up the population live in closer proximity than in any other European city. Space is at a premium. We've got a huge challenge this week. Two couples desperate for a dream home in one highly desirable location. Our first set of house hunters are a pair of glamorous urbanites. Tony Roberts Clark is a big cheese in recruitment with a passion for DJing. His Aussie wife Michelle is a high flyer too, heading up a top marketing agency. This pair like to party, but their two bedroom Battersea flat is cramping their style. We started looking 12 months ago and our budget was £750,000 and we were shocked at how little we could actually get for that budget. Um, our situation has changed, we can now afford £900,000 and... We, we can't get much more. No one would deny these two are picky. They've rejected a staggering 100 properties in the past year. Clearly some sort of problem and it can't all be blamed on London's rising market. I think the thing that's really important for us is a place that we can play in, work in and entertain and have friends and family in. That sounds an awfully big place. It's, yes, it needs to be. Yeah. Well, much bigger than yeah. this anyway. So th this is kind of living, playing, cooking? Pretty yeah. much, yeah. So, Phil, the challenge is if we can find a property that will make Tony happy, I'll be happy as well. Yeah, right. No woman lets a man have all his own way. I'm intrigued and I'm also slightly worried about this because 900,000 is a massive amount of money and yet you've seen a hundred of them and they haven't been right. Tony really wants something pretty perfect. Actually for 900,000 pounds we can't have something that's necessarily finished and I think that that's maybe a journey that we have to go on. You happy with that Tony? Do you yeah. accept that as the harsh reality of life? <laughs> No, I've accepted that. There are going to be compromises on both sides. Um, but um, if we find the right space in the right road, mm. are you going to be OK to do some work on it? Yeah. <laughs> Not a lot, though. I think what Tony's trying to say is he's the sort of guy that prefers to lie on the sand rather than mix it. With a budget of 900 grand, these guys are after a stylish four-bed property. At the risk of stating the obvious, space and location are the key factors here. And let's not forget Tony wants the wow without the work. Our second set of house hunters, communications manager Amy Beeson and retail supervisor Taki Udin, are taking a huge risk in a bid to buy their first property. Good news is they've paid off their student loans. Bad news is they've got no money left to put down as a deposit. So they've opted for a 100% mortgage. This gives them a budget of 250 grand. But it is five times their combined salary and over half of their monthly income. A gamble not for the faint-hearted. For us, it's a very big stretch. It's a huge percentage of our income. I mean, we won't have that much left, left over. For the past 18 months, they've been renting a very nice one-bed apartment in West Kensington. In my experience, when people move to their first home from somewhere like this, it can be a bit of a letdown. I smell trouble. I'm on my way to meet Amy and Taki, and I think their search is going to be far harder than I or they anticipate. In the area they're looking at, 250 grand does not go a long way, so I hope they're not going to be too fussy. How much do you think this flat tells me about what you're looking for? I think it tells a lot, yeah. actually. They're looking for ideally something that's got a similar kind of feel, so something that's quite airy, nice and light coming in, mm -hmm. nothing too boxy. Like something similar to this, really, where it's an open plan, kind of lounge kitchen mm -hmm. kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, interestingly, this flat would be about £300,000. Yeah. It's got the right feel and it's in a good building and it's a good area. You know, you can put your own kitchen in, you yeah. can put your own bathroom in. As long as we've got it within our budget, that's okay. I think mm. we just need some pointers in the right direction. Exactly. 
With a budget of 250 grand, Amy and Tacky want a spacious one-bed flat with a separate sitting room. And they want to be in a safe and respectable West London location. Time to swap notes, I think. So what are they like? Either staggeringly sensible or fantastically fussy. <laughs> OK, well, that's narrowed it down a lot. I just don't know which. Michelle and Tony, they're very glamorous and I think they want a very glamorous place in a glamorous area. So why have they picked you to find it for them? Because I'm more glamorous than you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. We're going to focus our efforts in some of the city's most upmarket boroughs, with Fulham, Wandsworth and Chiswick at the centre of both searches. While our party-loving pair Tony and Michelle have 900 grand to play with, our first-time buyers, Amy and Tacky, are limited to a strict 250,000. They've got very different requirements, but for both types of property in this area, demand is going through the roof. Given that Tony and Michelle have rejected an incredible 100 houses, I'm slightly wary about how they're going to react to my first property. It's a great house, but we're taking a flyer here because it is slightly out of their comfort zone. Strictly speaking, although it is a Wandsworth postcode, I'd have to classify it as an, as an upper tooting address. Right. It's right on the border. So I think you're getting Wandsworth facilities, the common, the bars, the restaurants, all the things that you want out of Wandsworth, but you're not paying the Wandsworth price. Right. right. First impressions in terms of facade, maybe not as period as we had in mind. Um, in terms of area, we know this area quite well, probably a little further to the back of Wandsworth than we had hoped for, yep. but again, we know that we're going to have to compromise, so we just want to really keep as open mind as we possibly can. Fantastic. Come and see how big it is. Okay, it's brilliant. I'm worried that with Tony's lack of vision, it might be missing the wow factor, but it more than makes up for it with space and potential. With five bedrooms, it's got one more than they've asked for and sits, can I say, comfortably at 825 grand, 75 under budget. Let me show you the kitchen okay. to start with. Things are a slightly different, slightly alternative layout with the kitchen right, in the yes. middle of the house. Yeah. Could it, could it work? You're the cook I, in your house. Yeah, I you? want a decent kitchen. I really do. It's really important to me. The kitchen that we've got in the current flat is just not big enough for two people. And I'd like to teach my wife to cook at some stage. I'm good. not that bad. <laughs> not that bad. You are. Um, <laughs> yeah, she's very good. Um, <laughs> but if you knocked it through, you'd have all the, all the space you could ever wish for. Tony's not keen on doing work, but what's the chance of him walking into a place that suits his style? Hopefully, we can change his mind. Oh, wow. wow, it's like a big grown-up house. I thought of you guys, friends, parties, decks. <laughs> Your decks. That's all. And Tony can see is where do the decks go. <laughs> There's also the small consideration of his 14,000 records, but I'm hoping this isn't going to overly influence his decision. Tell me, how, how do you guys um, react between the two of you on viewings? I walk in and I think, right, space... I think about could we move things around where for Tony it is about wow yeah. this is a reflection of me Nelly. So you want to walk in the door and go oh, I must have it. Yeah absolutely. That's all well and good but trying to figure out exactly what lights Tony up is going to be a tricky task indeed. And it's here you really start to get a sort of sense of the space. So can I say at this point it all meets the brief. Yes. But will it meet? Tony's heart. That's the question. A hundred properties viewed, waiting for Tony to feel the love. She's a patient woman. See, this would be great because people could just have their own space away from you, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Room-wise, I love it. But no, what it's do got you plenty think? of space. Um, I don't like the outside. I don't like the kitchen in the middle. Does it doesn't do blow it? me away. Okay. I mean, I'm being honest. No, no, no. It's that's not, fine. It's, um, so, I know it's only 825, but I think my expectation is a bit higher. Okay. I it's think got a lot it's of got positives. Legs. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All but right. it's not. Hasn't got disco legs for you, though, has it? No disco <laughs> no, legs. No and disco legs. <laughs> this house could really work for them, but I sense Tony's holding back. We'll find out. So, what's it to be up there? Enough space for you? Plenty of space. 
plenty of work. Good. Well, together. that's what we came for, isn't it? Yes, yeah, yeah, indeed. Absolutely. Um, it's not my ideal hat. No. There's quite a lot of work that really needs to be done to make it look like the sort of house that we want. And I personally think that if we spent the money, we could make this look absolutely fantastic. I've absolutely no element of doubt that you could do everything that you wanted to to this house within budget. And you yeah. would walk in and go, wow, this is just what we had in mind. It's high six, not seven out of 10, but it's high, very high six. Okay. Oh dear, Tony wants a perfect 10, but they've only got the money for an eight. I think I want one very big drink. London house hunting for two hard-working professional couples. But in the world's second most expensive city, you don't get a lot of property for your pound. A reality that our house hunters are certainly going to have to face. Amy and Taki are desperate to get a toehold on the property ladder. Even in this volatile market, they've opted for a 100% mortgage, opening themselves up to a higher interest rate and a larger debt. All the more reason we pick a plum property but finding one for 250,000 in West London is one hell of a challenge. But against the odds, we've managed to find a great flat to show them in Acton. It's not as central as they've asked for, but it's an up and coming area and a safe place to put their money. We're taking you a bit outside your comfort zone, but I am wildly enthusiastic about this flat. And I'll just say one thing before we go in. The guy who's selling it wants to stay in this same street, okay? been in the area about five minutes while we were on our way here? Yeah, we don't really know, but I think we're quite excited. Yeah. It looks quite nice from what we've seen. It's got some nice shops and there's a school and there's a church and yeah, it looks okay. Nice. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Good start. Let's get in. I'm liking their reaction. This place is bright and spacious, but more importantly, it's a chunky 20 grand under budget at 230,000. Straight in. Sitting room. Kitchen. First impressions? No, I like no, it. I like yeah. that we've got a separate kitchen now, which is really nice, which mm. we haven't had. But where would you have your desk? Do you think? We'd probably mix around the furniture a little bit, but yeah. compared to a lot of other things at the price range, this flat is just, it's about four foot bigger everywhere. Mm -hmm. Go and have a look in the kitchen. It's a good size yeah. for, for yeah, a small kitchen. I don't really like the work surfaces. What kind of work surface would you put in? I don't know, I'd quite like, like a wooden surface, probably. Although I'm always for doing work, I'm only for doing work when it really needs it, mm -hmm. not for when it's something that you could live with. Okay. OK. This is the bedroom. It's got a nice feel to it. I mean, for us, our bedroom now, when, where we rent, is unusually large. Yeah. So everything's going to feel a bit smaller. You can't think about your flat. Okay. okay. You can't compare things to your flat. You can't in any way compare how you live there mm -hmm. to how you're going to live somewhere else. It may seem harsh, but first flats should be treated largely as an investment, a stepping stone to something bigger and better. It's nice, isn't it? It's good. It's tiled all the way around. Yeah. Amy and Taki are the most dangerous type of house hunter. They say all the right things and they are really enthusiastic. But every now and again, flashes come out of really, really dangerous fussiness. There's no window, but you don't really notice that because they've kept it quite light and white. I'm thinking they're not really sold on this place, which is a bit disappointing. It's a great price and someone is going to snap it up probably in the next 24 hours. The same goes for our next property. It's in Parsons Green, a really smart area next to Fulham, and I didn't think for one minute we'd find something for them in this neck of the woods. How do you feel about the area? No, it's nice. It's definitely sort of a mix of what we're after, like the village kind of feel, is not it? Yeah, I mean, it's a lovely area. It's got good green spaces, it's got great shops, great restaurants and bars, transport links. You can't really criticise it. The flat's not in one of the area's prettiest buildings, but nonetheless, I hope they realise just how lucky they are. That building across the way, one beds are going to go for 375,000. Okay. So it's something to bear in mind. 
What this flat lacks in character, it makes up for in investment potential. With a bit of work, this one bed could be fantastic. With a balcony and a parking space, a rare treat in London, it's 10 grand over budget, nearly £260,000. But I've heard the vendor is keen to sell. How is this for space? Oh, it's a really nice big space. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And you could, I mean, it needs work, but you could live in it while you were doing it. Totally. Work. And look at this. We could do that now. We could knock that down. Yeah. I think it would be the right way to go. Yeah. Look at you. You both look really <laughs> lit up. <laughs> No, no, it's, it's, good. it's, it's nice. a good space. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it doesn't. It's a nice block. It's not like it's some big, scary high rise. No, no, it's no. Fine. They love it, but before they get too attached, I need to be upfront about the finances. The price is a bit over your budget because okay. it's on at two five nine nine fifty. Okay. But it has been under offer three times, and those offers have fallen through. Nothing to do with the flat, mm -hmm. so there is absolutely nothing to be lost through making an offer, you know, at 249950. Okay. How are you going to afford to do the work? Yeah. That's yeah, the difficult I mean, bit. That, really That's nice. something that you need to consider. But I think that it is worth it. It really is. They could move in and do the work as and when they could afford it. It's a nice big room. Obviously, we'd have to take Turn all that, that out, out. yeah. And then it would open it up quite a bit more. Uh, this needs a lot of work, really. <laughs> I think this will be the first room we work on, yeah, definitely. definitely. With the prospect of a 100% mortgage hanging around their necks, it's fantastic that they can build equity into this place. What you're hoping to do is for every pound you put in, you get two pounds back. Okay. okay. But there's a threshold. If you start putting too much money in, regardless of whether you can afford it or not, you're not going to get it back. Yeah. So, what do you think? A, a maybe? A yes? I think it's a uh, yeah. Definitely, I think yeah, we yeah. really like it. Yeah. We really like it. Excellent. But so will every other bar that comes to see it. So, there's no time to be wasted. Well, at least you've got irons in the fire, which is more than I've got. So, you're having a nice time of it? Well, £250,000 in central London in the fastest moving market since time began. I wouldn't mm. call it a nice time. Just remind me how much money you've got to play with. <laughs> 900. 900,000 pounds, yeah. yes, thank you. Yeah, okay. but they are looking in all the top spots. I suppose the same as, same as your couple. Always nice to chat, but I've got to get on with it. Oh look, it's the pizza delivery man. Whenever I'm house hunting in London, I try and do as much of it as possible on the bike. It's the only way to get around in this traffic. I can get in and out of the state agents, I can see a lot more houses, cover a lot more ground, which is very necessary this week. I'm on my way to fashionable Fulham to meet Tony and Michelle. If Tony wants a house with disco legs, he's going to be well chuffed because this one could give John Travolta a dance lesson, and the location's hot as well. So we're that much closer into town, yep. which I'm afraid makes it more expensive yep. and a little smaller. Yep. Uh -huh. uh, I think it's perfectly big enough for, for what you're looking for now, but it is certainly smaller than, than where we've come from. How, how are you feeling about it, Tony? I like this area because I drive through this all the time. First impressions, I don't like the street at all. I mean, it's really urban, but I want to reserve judgment. So, yeah, let's have a look. Didn't sound like she was reserving judgment. <laughs> no, no, not at all. <laughs> But I'm not worried because this one's got the wow factor. Arranged over three levels, it has great entertaining space, a high-spec kitchen and four stunning bedrooms. Everything's immaculate. It's new to the market at 850 grand and there's already been 15 viewings. It's a safe bet that it won't be around for long. Now, it's a much more traditional Victorian layout, this one. And you'll see immediately it's been beautifully finished. Mm, absolutely. Knowing that Tony was looking for a wow and an immediate impression, yeah. did you get one as you came in here? I like it. I like it. Um, but I like this sort of houses. And obviously it's not as big as we thought it would be, but, you know, that's a compromise. Yeah. Um, I'd want to knock that through. <laughs> Straight through to the kitchen? Yeah, okay. absolutely. Perfect. The kitchen. Whilst I'm glad that Tony's up for a bit of manual labour, this house is probably not the place to do it. You're paying for the finish, so any big alterations might even mean you could lose money on it. You, you're getting a period house, but it's finished in a very contemporary way. Yeah, my first impressions are really good. Michelle, what's going through your mind? 
Um, it's lovely. I mean, it, it is a lovely house. And I think the thing that's appealing is we can walk in and it's just done. We don't have to do anything because we've got to see upstairs. I don't know. I mean, it doesn't seem big. It doesn't seem big at all, but it's really beautifully finished, as you've said. And it's the trade-off, isn't it? I thought you might have a glance down there. I thought you might. Oh, no, that. that's something I'm really interested in. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. My God. Fantastic. Party people want a party house. <laughs> He's nicking it. Just Tony. <laughs> Tony, you're so naughty. And where does he get sent to when he's naughty, I wonder? If it's the bedroom, it would be anything but a punishment in this house. And the master suite is, as I say, up the top Oh, here. it's lovely. Oh, wow. Uh, loads of built-in storage. All these. The finish is really good. immaculate. It's been very well thought Absolutely. through. How about that? Check it out in there. Oh, wow. This is lovely. Really nice. This is the icing on the cake for me. Yeah. This is fantastic because if you had guests, you could really be up here and they could have that whole second floor. Mm. They could have their own bathroom. So, yeah, that's really appealing. <laughs> They've done this room really well. It's really lovely, isn't it? Really little girls' room. Yeah, absolutely. Michelle said to me this morning that if Tony was won over, it'd be job done. So I'm feeling quietly confident in here. Phil, you've been working with me for eight years now. When will you ever learn about women? So, what do you think? I like it. It's a family home. Yeah. Um, but it's certainly not an entertaining case. Yeah. So, you guys, what's it to be? When we arrived, there was lots of positivity outside yep. from Tony, but less from Michelle. Th things change as we've gone round, or how, do, how does it stand? We both really like the house. Mm. Um, our concern is, is there enough space to turn same people? That is the concern, because it is really quite narrow in the downstairs area. For me, I just think, is it big enough for us to really mm. grow with, potentially grow a family with, actually what would another 50, 70, thousand get us in terms of a bit more living space. Understood. I thought she might say that, so we've lined up a more expensive property over in Chiswick. As far as area goes, it's got the buzz. The bars and the restaurants are just a two-minute walk away. Perfect for our party-loving pair. From my perspective, it works really well. Oh, good. Mm, good. And it's a very pretty street. And the house packs a punch as well. Open plan living, four bedrooms and three bathrooms. Admittedly, it could do with a bit of TLC, but hopefully not too much. This one tops out at nearly 900 grand. Now, come in and see what you think here. Michelle, the last house, yeah. you were interested to see what an extra 50 grand would buy you. And this is it. This is it. You don't necessarily get more space. What you get here is a, is a, is a better street. It's a much right. nicer looking street. You get an extra bathroom. Mm -hmm. you get an extra utility room. Right. Cool. But actually the square footage, the total square footage is the same. It's 1,500 square feet. Right, well, first impressions for me are it's, it's a much more functional layer in terms of living. Mm -hmm. How about you, Tony? I'm loving it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's hitting the spot with me. Yeah. Quite a lot. Well, it is the, um, the, the, the um, open layout that, that you're accustomed to. Sure. Um, good for entertaining. So perhaps whilst it's not bigger, the space is, is, is more usable in the way Absolutely. that you'd like to do so. The decks would go across here, okay. so high just protruding, all the stuff could go in there, all the uh, amplifiers, speakers around. I'm really liking it. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. That's good. Bless. He's like Tony. a kid in a sweet shop. Now, Michelle, I, I know you're not the, uh, the, the cook in your household, no. <laughs> but you are the practical one. Can you see this functioning OK? Yeah, this is fantastic. And you know what I'm really excited about, this utility room. Oh, this is fantastic. So I suppose the stuff now that it actually ends up invading the rest of our space in our flat can kind of be closed yeah. away in here and we can do clothes and food separately. And it clears really space nice. in, the, in the kitchen. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Really and there's some nice storage. Now tell me about Tony. Um, he, he seems really won over by the, from the moment almost we arrived at the door. I haven't seen him like this at all. Ever. Well, in all the properties, in all of the yeah. properties I've seen, wow. so this is pretty impressive. Well, you did say when we first met that it was Tony was going to have the sort of lead decision. Absolutely, 
And we had a really good talk about it actually, after I think we saw the first two properties. Um, and I think it was quite good because Tony's now starting to think more practically about what we need. Mm. Um, but to be honest, I haven't had a massive issue with any of the properties I've seen. The amazing thing is that 12 months ago, this property would have fetched 750 grand, but in this market, it's now worth 150,000 pounds more. Crazy. Tony, are you up here? Yes, I am. He's smiling as well. How's it going? Yeah, yeah, it's going really well. Really, really well. It does real seem to score points for you. Yeah, it's excellent. So I love the balcony as well. I mean, it's just really good. Yeah. So, yeah. It's... Your sort of house? Yes, absolutely. But well, um, it's your sort of area, isn't it? Yeah, I love Chiswick. We must remember that your original need to move came out of a desire for space. This one is empty. It yeah. might look a bit bigger than it is. There's plenty of space for everything, I feel. And it's a good time to actually sort of like pare down some of the junk that we've got as well. Well, why don't you two tow each other around the bits you haven't seen and, um, and chat it through? I will, thanks. Well, there's a very happy Tony. Which means that it'll be a very happy Michelle. Which means I get the rest of the day off. Hey! Dream on, Pipsqueak. So this could be the guest bedroom. Okay, it's yeah. Perfect. But I can see myself living here. You like the area? Yeah, do you know, actually, I like the area more than the house. Do you? Yeah. And do you know, it? I really like the house. But it doesn't have a wow factor for me. And I'm surprised that it does for you. I mean, I really like it, but it doesn't have that wow. Uh-oh, trouble ahead. Hi. You had a good look around? Yeah, definitely. Yes. Well... Let's not forget that it is 899,950 quid. Yep. Right. Is the house big enough? Yeah, I think it's certainly large enough. It's more than I actually expected in four bedroom property. Um, so yeah, I, I, I like it a lot. Good. Michelle? Yeah. If this is the house he wants, then this is the house we can get. <laughs> and if this is the house she wants, I'll eat my hat. Week we're looking for the proverbial needle in a haystack, but twice. West London may be difficult territory, but at least we're capital savvy. Like first time buyers everywhere, Amy and Tacky are punching above their financial weight in a bid to get on the property ladder. And we've found a clever way for them to work the system. Our next flat is in Hammersmith, or at least it will be when it's built. Now, this requires more vision than anything else yeah. we've seen so far. And it's not for everyone that I'd wear this get up. <laughs> Part of this development is aimed at first time buyers, key workers, and low earners. Successful applicants will buy a percentage of their flat and then pay rent on the rest of it. At £345,000, if these guys tried to buy this flat outright, they'd be nearly 100 grand over budget. It's the biggest property we've shown them so far and a great long term option. Now, the first thing you'll notice about this one, it's got two bedrooms. Yay! Yay. <laughs> but it's quite a big old place. Definitely. Oh, I really love it. It's great. It's really great. What you're doing, effectively, is you would be borrowing about £172,000 and paying back the mortgage on that, mm. and then paying rent on the additional yeah. money. Yeah. Their monthly outgoings would be almost exactly the same as a 250 grand mortgage. So there's still some pretty big expenditure going on, but the benefits are more than obvious. You've got a fantastic big space here, the open plan kitchen that you wanted, and something that, I mean, go to the window. Oh, oh my gosh, look how far you can see. Yeah. Oh my gosh, like, oh my gosh you can see the river. Oh, look. We've got dual aspect. That's so cool. Oh, that's that fantastic. Is, is, yeah. That is a proper river view. Yeah. That's, that's that not a glimpse. Blimey, it's a while since I've seen this level of excitement. This would be our room. Yeah. Oh, look, there's a little closet. Oh, it's job done, isn't it? Yeah, but you can't add value. Well, they'll be here for the long time. Wow, look at the view. It's just incredible. Yeah. And my mum would come and stay with us because she'd have somewhere to sleep. I think 
even if it's a bit of a gamble, because we don't know whether we'll definitely get it from, from the council, I think we have to take it. Cause no, it's definitely worth the risk. We need to jump in there and just hope for the best. Yeah, I'm sure Finn and Kirsty will say the same. They can't do any work, so they just do have to Do they want to do work? I'm sure you've convinced they them. They say they want to do work, but I think they're very inexperienced. There is a little tiny bit of ditziness which comes out and you just think, ooh, ooh. Okay. Yeah. You look great in a hat, by the way. Thanks. Do you think it suits me? Yes. We love it. <laughs> it's really good. No, we really love it. Yeah. 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 Um, you can't fault it, really, can you? Really. I mean, I think this is definitely where yeah. we want to be. I think Parsons being is what we would go for is like if we, if we didn't get this. Yeah, this one, yeah. There's a sort of word of warning. This undoubtedly will be a popular scheme. Yeah. You might not get this. In waiting for this, you might lose Parsons Green. Yeah. It's, no, that's tough. No, no, no. <laughs> We're going to stay on top of it, Phil. I can stay on top of this situation. No one's losing anything. Yeah, you can register interest, but unless you're there actually negotiating with a deal on the table, they can always sell it to somebody else. My weapon. <laughs> That's your weapon. It's your very noisy mouth. <laughs> it only seems noisy to you, Phil, because you don't listen. Well, if you don't need my assistance anymore, I'm going to burn rubber back to Tony and Michelle. got one final property to show them back in the hustle and bustle of Fulham, and it's a good one. Pleased to be here? Yep. yep. No, I really like it. I like, I, I suppose I like Fulham, definitely. Heart's not left in Chiswick? No, no, not at all, not at all. Going to give it an open? Very open mind. OK. Yeah, good. Yeah. Well, Tony, you might want to know, the house next door's owned by a model agency. <laughs> oh, that might tip it for Tony. That just might. And it's absolutely tip. round full of the world's top models. <laughs> yes. I've already got my name down for the housewarming. I think the house has the wow these glamour pusses are after. Arranged over three floors, there are five stunning bedrooms and three reception rooms. And it's just come on at 875 grand. Like other properties we've seen today, this one's leapt in value recently. 250 grand in 18 months. Not bad. Now, against all odds, I found another five bed house. Oh my heavens above, and it's really large. It's come on the market at 875 grand. Mm -hmm. Right. Unsurprisingly, it's attracting quite a bit of interest. Yep. yep. There have been 15 viewings. How many offers? Uh, there's a third viewing tonight. Right. right. Um, they are expecting two people to offer. Right. Time is against us, so it's important to view the house and reach a decision quickly. I think you've got great square footage. I question whether it's arranged in the right way. Yeah. Um, there's a very wide side return, mm -hmm. and yet they've put the extension on the back. It feels like it's just been bolted on the back. Yes, right. Um, it's not the way I would have done it. Sure. I would have filled in the side return. And kept the garden. And kept the garden. Sure. I think Phil's idea is probably the best. Yeah. So that might be something that we need to look at, understanding mm. what that would cost okay. for us to do that. Let's go upstairs. If they can make the finances work, this single storey extension would create a hell of a space and help to push up the value of the house. So there's five bedrooms, two bathrooms up here. Excellent. Great. Um, all pretty well proportioned. Yeah. With the big master bedroom here. It's got tons of storage built in. Oh, wow, it has indeed. Really nice. This is the last one that I've got sure. to show you. Take some time together, have a wander around, and really we have to work it out between the two of you. Is this the right house? Is it in the right location? I think it's between Chiswick and here. Okay. There's another two bedrooms and a bathroom up there. They're making all the right signals, they're making all the right buying noises, but they're making them almost too often, so I'm not yet convinced about which way this is going to pan out. Oh, this is lovely. OK, so how does it stack up for you, Chiswick form? I could happily live in both. Hmm. But where would you prefer to live? Where would you prefer to live? No, but which area would you and prefer to live? And which area would you prefer to live in? And he said, stop, and she stop said, being And see, this is it. We, we both want each other to be happy, and we'd both equally be happy. Is this the sort of area that you want to live in? Yes. Is this the sort of house you'd want to live in? 
But can you see yourself being here? Yeah, without that's a doubt. The question. Without a doubt. Looks like Michelle's going to get her way after all. Who'd have predicted that? So then, is it the right house in the right location? I love it. It's the right house and it is in the right location. Um, I'd certainly give up Chiswick for this place. Would you? Yeah, I think it stands to finances. Um, I think we need to establish how much it would cost to put a side return in, you know, extend this space out and remove this extension. And I think that's going to really dictate whether or not we put an offer in or not. Okay. But Michelle's really keen and I'm keen as well. At last, a decision. But if we're going to make this one count, I need to sort out a builder as soon as possible and hope that the house doesn't sell in the meantime. A new day brings some tough decisions for both couples. Amy and Taki want the shared ownership flat in Chiswick, but there's a detailed application process to go through, which we're helping them to navigate. Properties are generally given to the most needy, so we can't afford to pin all our hopes on this flat. With that in mind, I'm taking Taki and Amy back to that great flat in Parsons Green. It is 10 grand over their 250,000 budget and needs updating, so it's important they don't get too carried away. I must say, I, I love this flat. I think it, it's streaks ahead of, mm. of some of the other options. Um, if you didn't buy this, I might. <laughs> <laughs> from an we investment point of view. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm not joking, from an investment point of view, it, it's an absolute winner yeah. yes. for a long-term investment. Definitely. Um, well, let's, let's talk it through. Uh, decoration, something that you can do yourselves. Yeah. The floors are fine, the windows are fine. The local floors, definitely. Um, personally, I think this kitchen's great. I wouldn't be opening the wall up. I know that's something that, that Kirsty suggested. Yeah. Yeah. But in my opinion, that's a great room. Mm -hmm. This is a great kitchen. Mm. If you remove the wall, you're going to lose quite a lot, if not the majority of your storage space. Mm. And you then shrink your options of where you can put your furniture in that room. Yeah. Okay. So personally, I'd leave things just as they are. I know we can't agree all the time, Phil, but you're wrong. I think we get a really nice, clean, simple white suite that yeah. most people are going to like. Take off all the tiling. Yeah. Yeah. Choose something maybe black and white because not many people are going to dislike black and white. Yeah. Rather than going with like a fashion because that, mm. then that could look quite dated. Top marks for being practical. So ripped all this out then. Yeah. I've been massively impressed by these two right from the start. They'd done their research, they were fully prepared, fully organised, they knew what they wanted. They worked very well together as a team. And that means they've been able to reach clear, confident decisions right the way through. And their best decision of the day is to ask me to put in an offer of 250 grand on this place. With the agent contacted, all we can do is bite our nails and wait. With Kirsty sorting out the details, I leg it round the corner to meet Tony and Michelle. Well, here we are. It's all about finances with them as well. We're just dealing with larger numbers. At 875 grand, the five-bed Fulham house they want is near the top of their 900 grand budget, and they've got big plans. They want to knock down the rear extension, build into the side return, and create a massive entertaining space. So much for not doing any work. I am mindful that when we started this little exercise, taking on structural work wasn't even an option. And now we're talking about quite, some quite serious works here. Yeah, I think it'll be worth it. I think it'll be really exciting. We can really stamp a thing on this house. I, I agree with you. It, it, it will be stressful and difficult, and it will probably take longer and cost more than, than you imagine. Yeah, I can um, imagine. <laughs> but the satisfaction of having pulled it off every time you walk in the door, yeah, absolutely. I do it. This is my space. So now the answer we're all waiting for. How much is it going to cost? While it's Tony and it. Michelle have another look around, I'm going to talk figures with a local builder. What do you make of it then? That's the bit they want to take out. Yeah. Not too complicated. I mean, you've done it loads of times. No, you? no, I mean, it's, you know, it's very straightforward. You know, everyone's doing this in London just to give more room into the kitchen living area. So, yeah. Can you just give me a ballpark figure for what the, the main structural work is going to cost? For the shell itself, probably something around thirty to 40000 something like that, for the structural works, to a plastered finish with finishes on top of that. They'd need planning permission for all this, but quite a lot of similar work has been done up and down the street, so they're in with a good chance. It's all going to come down to money, isn't I it? I know. I mean, it's just, it's just, that's worrying me quite a lot. How yeah. much is it going to cost? 
I think it's all pretty cosmetic. I think downstairs is the big thing because that's the deal breaker for you. Yeah. You want that downstairs area to be amazing. And so do I, to be honest, so do I. Yeah, that's no, fair enough. So we just need to go and start Chinese burning fields of arm. <laughs> <laughs> Water torture. To see what he can get it for. Yeah. Here you are. How's it going? Yeah, good. Yeah? Still happy? Tony's yeah. still smiling? I'm still smiling. There's a constant grin on his face. Yeah. Yeah, it's good to see. How about you, Michelle? Yeah, I'm really happy as well. I love it. So this is the one? Yep. This Subject to costs. One. Yes. So yes. have you got news? Well, for yeah, us? No, I've, I think I've got good news downstairs. Right. Um, not a complicated piece of work. You should allow three months. Right. And for the main body of the structural work, 35 to 40,000. Right. right, yep, that sounds good. Um, what you then spend on finished fittings and a kitchen yeah. is up to you. I'll have to control. <laughs> but uh, I thought that's quite a reasonable call. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, that's good. We can do that. Terrific. We've, We've got the right the place. place. Now Just we've got to find out about how to, how to get it. <laughs> I know there was the third viewing last night. There are other viewings lined up over the next couple of days, so it's a bit tense. All right, thanks. He's not smiling. Yet. <laughs> no. <laughs> 12 months of searching and 100 properties discounted. I wasn't very confident of pulling this off. I think it's going our way. fantastic properties. The shared ownership flat in Hammersmith and the one bedder that needs work in Swish Parsons Green. I've got news on both fronts so I've asked them to meet me. Let's start with the bad stuff. Okay. Parsons Green. An architect has been to see it who has a 50% deposit oh, okay. right. and has made an offer at the asking price. Right. At the moment they're in the process of judging whose offer is most acceptable and I think we would be kidding ourselves yeah. if yeah. we thought that it was going to be our offer. So that one's as good as gone, which brings us back to Hammersmith. Success here depends on them proving that they're needy enough to have it. Now, we have discovered that in the list of priorities for housing need, you come fifth. Okay. Yeah. Again, not the world's best piece of news. <laughs> The, the decisions will be made next week, and I think you just have to cross your fingers for that. The application is in, that's out of our hands now, so fingers crossed in that sense. It's tense at both ends of the financial spectrum. Tony and Michelle really want the Fulham house. Even though they've got a huge £900,000 to spend, it doesn't make the process any less nerve wracking. So I don't think there's any doubt that you like the house. Love it. And you want to try and buy it. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, is crunch time. It's on the market at 875 um, and indeed there has been an offer today. We need to come up with a strategy based on what you can afford, based on what we feel the house is worth and um, based on the work that you want to do to it. Sure. We got it into our heads that it was going to be 875. I mean I've got no problem in offering 875 uh, just to secure the property. I mean that's going to be the most important thing. We don't want to lose it. Here we go. Uh, James, hi, Phil Spencer here. We've uh, just been talking about things and uh, they are very committed to the property um, and, and in a good position to, uh, to proceed on it. If the vendor would be motivated to um, exchange contracts within, say, three weeks a month, then they would pay the full asking price at 875000 Mm-hmm. OK. If you give me... You let me know either way. That'd be terrific. OK. Thanks, James. Good luck. Cheers. Bye. He said he didn't think that there would be an answer immediately. I love this part. <laughs> this is the worst part. <laughs> Even though we've offered the full asking price, I'm worried that with another offer on the table, we could easily get into a bidding war. 
But by the morning, Phil's worries are over. Their offer of £875,000 is accepted and it's all systems go. It was just such a relief to find out we got the property. We can't afford to do anything for the rest of our lives, but we're eating baked beans, but we got the house. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tacky and Amy had their names down and their hearts set on the shared ownership house in Hammersmith, but the wait to hear back from the council was too much for them to bear. So we didn't want to waste time, we really wanted yeah, so to get somewhere. we just progressed with our move and thought, right, if it ain't working where we're looking now, it's all right, let's look further afield. And further afield turned out to be Wimbledon, an area of London they hadn't even considered before. And it wasn't long before they found a gem of a flat bang on the high street. It's great space, yeah. lots of light, great location, roof terrace, ready to move straight in. But the shared ownership flat hadn't finished with them yet. The day after we decided to buy this and we'd signed the mortgage papers, Hammersmith and Fulham Council called us up and said, do you want it? And it was just like, and I was really stirred up and thought, oh my God, do I want it? Do I pull out? You know, but Tacky was really staunch and said, no, I like the Wimbledon flat more than the shared ownership yeah. flat. And I was going, oh, but it's too bad and it's on the river and it's just gorgeous. And, but it's a smaller flat in terms of bedrooms, but it's the fact that, you know, we own it. Whereas the shared ownership one, it would take us a long time for us to fully outrightly own it. So. I know. <laughs> Meeting Phil and Kirsty was really great because I think they gave us the confidence to actually, you know, handle the market better. Kirsty's yeah. last word, one of her last things that she said to us was, I guarantee you two will be property owners within the month. And I think we just thought, we know, we know we can do it, yeah. we've got to do it, we've got to do it. We were just out by a day, but yeah, we were in there. <laughs> <laughs> As for Tony and Michelle, everything's worked out really well for them too. They move in in a couple of weeks, but true to form, they're each planning to get something quite different out of their new place. The thing that's really exciting me is I've always dreamed of having a big, proper, grown-up house, and this is it. It's going to be just absolutely perfect. For me, one of the important factors of uh, buying this property is the next-door neighbour owns a model agency and I'm really looking forward to that. <laughs> I think he's going to try and starve the cat so the cat goes next door, makes friends with the people next door, and Tony can be over the fence, hello, hello, is my cat over there? <laughs> and I'll get discovered as well. <laughs> <laughs> that's his plan, that's his plan. In your dreams, Tony. <laughs> <laughs>